because of my want fully to be innocent. I mean, I, mean, I have to dissect every theory more, scrup uh, more scrupulously than anybody. David Lifton's theories may sound far-fetched, but after 15 years of research, his book, Best Evidence, has become a bestseller. His conclusions, the body was altered, the autopsy was faked, the gun was not the murder weapon. Lee Harvey Oswald was framed as part of a sophisticated covert operation. Marina has become more receptive to research because, from her personal experience, another fact never seemed to fit. I never could comprehend. In my mind, I cannot ever put Lee against Kennedy. That never makes sense to me. Now, That's why I so desperately tried to find in this theory, this theory, yeah. what's the reason? It had to be something else. Marina talks of the sadness Lee experienced when Jackie Kennedy had a miscarriage. How much sympathy he had for the family. He always brag about how what a young and vivacious um, president America had that not all fuggy, you know, fuddy daddies like in, in Russia. So he was really busting about the country, the system, and John Kennedy. With all clean conscience, I can say, yes, he adored John Kennedy. Adored Kennedy? But on Thursday, November 21st, the night before the assassination, another mystery. Marina and Ruth return home to find Lee has paid an unexpected visit. As he folded diapers with Marina, he seemed particularly non-responsive to her interest in Kennedy's visit. Likewise, when Ruth Payne bubbled about the event, Ah, yes. A phrase common to him. That afternoon, he played with his children, seeming to savor every moment. When he left the next morning, he left Marina money to buy what she wanted. He removed his wedding ring, and he appears to have taken his rifle. Twenty-seven years ago, this is where it was all supposed to have happened. Today, it's a museum, but according to official history, on November 22nd, 1963, this was a sniper's nest, where Lee Harvey Oswald fired three shots, one of which killed the president. Within a minute, a police officer confronted Oswald with a drawn gun. He was not on the sixth floor where the rifle was found, but in the second floor cafeteria, where he was having a Coke. Did you kill the president? No, I've not been charged with that. In fact, nobody has said that to me yet. Uh, the first thing I heard about it was when the newspaper reporters in the hall uh, asked me that question. You have been. Nobody said what? Sir? You have been. Nobody said what? Okay, man. Okay. What did you do in Russia? Almost three decades later, there is strong evidence to support the case that Oswald did not fire the fatal shot but we never did get to hear his side of the story. Two days after the Kennedy assassination, Marina's husband was murdered by Jack Ruby on national television. The hatred against Oswald was such that a priest could not be found to officiate at the funeral. Reporters served as pallbearers. In the end, it was just Lee's mother and brother, Marina and the two babies. Well, how do you explain when someone says, how could you have married an assassin? Have you been well, that, oh yes. You don't marry an assassin. Like, you know, if you go to prison, choose an assassin, that marry an assassin. You marry the man, good or bad, and if he become good or assassin or whatever, that's not the person. You arrive to it later. Because of her own experience during the Walker episode and the official version of the shooting, first from the police, later from the FBI, finally from the Warren Commission, Marina was persuaded that her husband was guilty. So they asked me, uh, Mrs. Oswald then, uh, with all the evidence before you, what would your conclusion be? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Ask, answer, yes or no. So I so desperately want to say no. But the overwhelming evidence that it was to go by was that he's guilty. So between those two choices, I have only one, to say guilty. Do you believe that your husband killed President Kennedy? Uh, I don't want to believe, uh, but uh, I have too much facts, and facts tell me uh, that Lee shot Kennedy. It's been a long psychological journey for Marina Oswald. 
I went through a range of emotions, uh, guilt, tried to prove that I'm worthy of this country, tried to go backwards to please people that I even don't want to please, just to show, please like me, I'm okay. The widow of Lee Harvey Oswald continues her story in a moment.